Ah, you see what I mean? The Friday. I mean, yeah, there might it might start grinding one way or the other, but it's once they double back on themselves and they're hung up, and it's not even ten o'clock yet, nine forty-seven, and it hasn't gone anywhere. This is not Nvidia. It, if it, there's no trend. I mean, I'm starting to see a channel here, but it's so freaking weird. I'm not going to play inside of that. It's a 75 cent channel. Um, the thing is, if it's going to drop or if it's going to pop, who knows when? And it's not going to be all at once. It's going to be a grind, probably. I mean, you never know, but I'm just saying. The whole thing about this is when. Look, it's like trying to trade the second drop. I can't wind it back any farther, but... So you had a good drop here, like a dollar almost, down to the bottom, from here down to the bottom. And then you're like, okay, I'll be like, so say I've made some money in the morning. And I'll be like, okay, I'm going to trade for this next drop. Yeah, but when? You got, what is that, 10, 20 candles here? 10, 10 or 15 candles right here? Which one are you going to take it on? I probably would have got suckered in. I probably would have took it on this one. Maybe right in here. And then would have bounced up here and came back up here. And I may have stopped out because we're looking at a 50, 60 cent stop. And then, Because then it starts grinding up here. And I'm like, damn it, it didn't go. It's probably going to turn around and come up. And I would have stopped out and then there it went. That's the thing with these levels here. You don't know which candle. So you got to take a small share size, try to get in in the middle or near the top, and just wait it out. But then I've done that before. And then when it goes, you're like, oh, okay, good trade. But it didn't make any money. Because the share size was so small because I had a 60 cent pullback. So I, I just don't mess with them. It's too hard in the afternoon. And then you got hedge funds where somebody comes in and buys a million shares and boom, it shoots one way or the other. It's just too hard to know. The only way I found I had an advantage is the first thing in the morning. I don't know if the hedge funds, and they don't trade it then or they just can't do it then. It's like this here. Look, 132. 135 almost run yeah but when's it going to take off look at all these times it falls reversed you don't realize that you're like oh okay it broke the downtrend blah 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 yeah look how many times it broke the downtrend all of these little pop-ups i would have got suckered in by the time this takes off i'm out of money i'm in red i have sometimes i have to trade it just to make my money back <laughs> I mean, that's a beautiful reversal, but who knows when it was going to come. So, yeah, it's Friday. I thought it was Thursday. I wasn't even logged in, ready to trade. The market took off, and I'm like, oh, God, what's going on? And that, that would explain, because I'm like, what? It's not going anywhere. That would explain why it didn't go anywhere, because it's Friday. If it does make a run, it'll be later in this afternoon, or maybe right now. Let's see. Let's see if it breaks it. I mean, it's got a small channel going. 75 cent channel on NVIDIA, that's nothing. You can't do it. Look at this volume. It's just dying off. All the things that used to suck me in, and it may work. Look, this is a beautiful cup and handle. It should go. It should blow over this, but I don't think it goes that far. Let's see. I'm going to record it. I mean, technically, it's a beautiful cup and handle, and it's in a channel. The problem with this handle's too close to the top of the channel. That was decent. You can see the volume building now. That's because it broke out of the cup and handle. The market's not really doing anything. I don't know. It's just a lot of traders are like that. If you talk to them, you say, look at that. NVIDIA is notorious for staying in the channel. Once it forms a channel... It loves to stay in it. I mean, it popped out here, but that's the opening. One, two, three. That's five candles in. This is my prime trading area, the first five minutes. Inside that five minutes. After that, I'm at a disadvantage. Unless it's just a good day and it's got a stair-step trend going. Look at that. There's one thing NVIDIA abides by, and that's its own channel once it forms it. The only exception to that is if the market takes off <clears throat> or you, you know you can't control some retirement fund or hedge fund or whatever stepping in and buying millions of shares and just decided they you know they got a client that wants it anywhere below 140 or whatever 
But other than that, it normally just stays in the channel. And that won't matter anyway. If you're the right way on the channel, like if you're going long on this uptrend, you should be okay. Even if it flashes back, it'll usually just spike down past the channel a little ways and come right back in it and start grinding back up. If it was any other day but Friday, I probably would have taken it out of this flag and added at the break of the cup handle right here. But I'm not doing it on a Friday. i got to protect my mental state for the weekend. <laughs> I don't want a loss on a Friday. I'd rather have a small game. Look at this. Look at where it's at on the channel. Amazing how that works out. Boom. Now if you notice, I drew the channel here on the, where it has, I draw my channels always even and where it has the most touches. <clears throat> Look, it surpassed it a little bit. But sometimes, like I said, if it's a real radical day, you might have a secondary. Like if you want to draw a, uh, a wick channel, you might have a secondary, like say you're long and you want to see if it's going to pop up into there so you can sell. But this thing does abide by the channel. I've traded it before, usually only if I'm down for the day and I want to make my money back, I'll trade it inside the channel. Like I would short it here and it probably wouldn't drop back. I'd probably have to take profit right here. But I would try to get profit on the 9. And if it makes it to the 9 and holds there, I'm hoping for the bottom of the channel, but usually it'll pop back up. I'll take profit, it'll pop back up, I'll add and hopefully get it to the bottom of the channel. But I ain't doing that today. Look at this. Freaking amazing. Now it abides by these channel lines. 